love to dance. I live to shop. I love it. I'm a, like an arts and crafts dork. I have a puzzle going in my house 24-7 all the time. I love it. I like being outdoors. Go watch movies. By myself. You can always look for my coffee cup somewhere because every now and then we forget it. <laughs> we'll get halfway through a scene. I'm like, hey, Frost, check out the... Um, social security number on that guy. Did you get it? Not obvious at all. Every time Janet hands us a script, there's something in it that I'm like, what is that, what? So I have to um, look it up, Google the words and all that, but also understand the references. Uh, and I've had to work with uh, you know, uh, medical examiners and coroners to understand a lot of the, um, you know, the proper ways of doing things. In doing research for Jane, I went to Boston and you know, hung out with the homicide unit. I mean, I think most people would call that crazy. I called it fantastic, awesome. My first actual job was a film called Twin Falls, Idaho. And I played uh, this woman who was like dressed up like Miss America for Halloween. And she keeps coming in throughout the movie and she's really high on ecstasy. It was a really fun movie. But, um, but you know, I had to kind of be out of it the entire show. I don't know, I mean, I go with the hard boiled eggs. And I bring them in and I pour hot sauce all over them and everyone comments about how stinky they are. Egg whites and hot sauce, oh, so good. So good. Your experience in working on it is very different than when you see the final product put together. We shoot the show so many months before, you know, it airs that I kind of forget. I kind of really am a really sort of good audience, like watching it as if I was doing it for the first time. We're kind of going back to the roots of the show. It's a little bit more serious now. It's a little darker, it's a little edgier, and I personally like things like that. That kind of realistic drama, I will say, is what we're going back to and it's really fun. There's Jane, there's Nora, and then there's their relationship. The relationship between these two characters has, has become, you know, I think what people really love to see.